Máme tady Tomáše? Co to No našeho, to jsou. Cože? No toho nového, to se nám Tohle? No, to je to 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 je tvůj druhý display, už. Ty jsi, jsi připený, jo? Jo? Já to vidím, že je za mnou, že jo? Ty jo, ty máš kabel ze zádu. To je moderní. A... To není notikové, co to je za notiva? F11? F11, jenom. Musíte je To je dobře to lítá, to VGAčko. Já mám vyzerovat, že když klikněl toto, že si myslím, že je další F11, že stačí tu. Tu prezesku bys měl ty? Cože? Tu prezentaci bys měl ty teda? Já půjdu začátek a potom máte i po stránky. A potom, uh, potom jim ukážeme... Můžu se otevřít do první líbí Jak se ukončuje ten F11? F11? Ty vole, používáš to právě počítač? V životě jsem nepoužíval full screen. No. A to tam je porting DB. No, porting DB. Tak to tam dej... Dej, stačí porting DB, ono se to přesuneme. Ne. Jo. Ne, jako jo, ale prostě... Jo, nebudem, nebudem písat, že to prvně hned na na tom. <laughs> Jo, kolem jsi to začíná po portiky GP, po, po. Petr, že mi první nemáš. Já, totally beauty, tak, tak je to, že jo, on je to už shadow user, jakože jsem si vytvoril fake user. So, Takže tam není podhub. Takže tam není podhub. <laughs> F11. Cože? Je první, první. Co to tohle chci? Ne, nebo jdeme třeba. Já myslím, že alt, alt šíka. No alt tap, ne? Teda control tap. Kont, uh, jo? No. Aha, to je jo. No. Co? 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 A proč jsi měl na první místo? Cože? Proč jsem na prvním místě na té prezentaci? No, protože to zvolíme na tělo. Ano. Podle váhy. Jako dělá se? Jo, OK. Podle ABC, vyberte. HK, LN, ano, ty ty asi. No, OK. A podle váhy taky ne? Ty už je iba minuta. Zdravíme, zdravíme. Jo, já tady to je pátnista, tamhle to je pátnista, tamhle to je pátnista. Mm, neprojde to. A to A kdo to tu má maskočit? Welcome on Python 3 packaging workshop. Porting, porting, porting. Sorry, 
Python 3 parting workshop. Hopefully you all have prepared your Python 3 applications for parting and and guys can help you with them. So <laughs> Okay. Hello everyone. Um uh, oh. does anyone mind if I will sit while I'll talk? No, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So, first of all, I'm Robert Kuska, this is Miro Hronchok, and this is my sister Click. We are Python main team in uh, Red Hat, and we do, like, Python stuff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. So, so, welcome to our workshop, which, in fact, isn't really a workshop, because, <laughs> because this is a hackathon. <laughs> So our idea is that uh, there, are, there are several groups I expect of people, like one group of people is our Fedora packagers and another group will be like Python developers and maybe there are groups which are both and also there will be like some people who came here just to talk. And so we, we created like uh, jobs. Uh, <laughs> Like task, you can help us with uh, uh, at porting to Python 3. So, this is our main page. It's porting DB for Fedora. It contains like uh, a list of packages. Just look up? Yeah. You can take a look how it looks. There is a lot of packages. You can choose like any package you would like to work on. And there are like different things you can do. Here, for, here are for example, lots of packages. Like two main, uh, two two main things that uh, that may happen is that uh, one is the package has already a Python three support, but for some reason it is not in Fedora. So when you are a Fedora packager, you can create the create bug. You can creates a patch for a spec file and you can submit it to, to the maintainer. I have I have slide about this. Yeah, here it is. So you can uh, you can file back, create patch and send it to the maintainer and he maybe will apply it and it will be in Fedora. So that's the first thing you can do. It's kind of manual process because we don't have information about upstream support of <coughs> of Python 3, so you have to check on it. And because of that, there is another thing you can do, and you can help us make our porting DB better in that way that uh, you can uh, you can add functionality to porting DB to query upstream for Python 3 readiness. There is a GitHub where you can find the porting DB. If you have any questions, just ask us, and we will provide you like more information. And as I was speaking about the Fedora packages, there are uh, Python packaging guidelines you should follow when you when you when you are creating patches for packages. And if you are in doubt, ask me, or any of us, or any of us. But go yeah. ahead. I actually have a question. Um, yes. When we come across a package that is just uh, doing Python dash boo, should we also convert it to be, to, to be Python 2 dash boo, providing Python dash boo, and often using the Python that tries to obsolete, or should we just leave it, it as Python dash boo? It would be a nice thing to do, okay. uh, but it's not necessary according to the guidelines to convert all, all the packages. Okay. But it's a very good idea when you see a spec file that follows old guidelines any yeah. situation update to, to update it. So I've actually run into some issues with this. <coughs> it's really great, by the way. Yep. Uh, but I've run into some issues where um, it makes it much more difficult to share spec files with like uh, Apple packages uh, because the uh, what's that? Can you your question? Oh, because the the macros for providing the uh, the Python two and three uh, aren't aren't in the repo. So you basically have to have a bunch of so or you have git branches. I mean, if you have a branch uh, in packages with Apple 6 and 7, then your spec file is kind of mess. Uh, yeah, and then you have packages where there are 
RHEL 5 <coughs> things in the spec file and stuff like that. Okay, if it's in RHEL 7, I'm happy. I just, at some point when I tried it, I ran into issues because it wasn't there. It's and I was Windows. like, oh, I don't want to have to maintain. It's super. not really in RHEL 7. It's in Apple 7. It's in Apple 7. Yes. 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 And it's so. in my SC. Well. No, no, no. Oh, no, Okay, thank you. I'm happy. Cool. We are happy if you are happy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are a Python developer, you would like to port things to uh, Python 3, then Matthew will say something about it, I guess. Oh, cool. Okay. So there are several tools and ways you can get help on how to port things to Python 3. Uh, one of the best uh, books that I've ran across is porting to Python 3, actually. It's available free online on that page uh, in PDF, and you can order it as a, as a physical book for like five dollars or something. It's just really good. It's kind of old, but yes, still the best page, place. And then there are a couple um, tools uh, for uh, helping you uh, port from Python to Python three, which will we will hopefully use today. Uh, so the first one is two to three, which helps you transform uh, Python to code to Python 3. Uh, there's 6, which is a, a utility that uh, provides several uh, wrappers so that your code can cover, uh, can function under Python 2 and Python 3 at the same time. There's modernize, which is a bit like 2 to 3, just more, um, you know, better. Yes. Actually, if I can. Absolutely, two, go ahead. 2 to 3. Takes Python 2 code and Makes do magic to make it Python 3 code. And but Python modernize, three. do magic to make it both. Yeah, right. Three. And usually, unfortunately, that's what AppStream project wants. Yeah. Well, it would be a very nice. That's reality. Yeah, and it's unfortunately reality <laughs> for the partners because it's much easier to just port to free than to actually try to port to both. <coughs> that's reality is unfortunate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The reality is that uh, the uh, Python where app streams have to work. Yeah, and, uh, I understand. Broken, broken platforms is not an option for most of the real projects. Yeah, yeah, I, I see all the reasons. It's just unfortunate for us. <laughs> That's it. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, and then we have got got the Pi Pi three C, which is a. Uh, C mi micro macros for single source compatibility of C extensions. So you've got, you can again uh, write one C extension that's compatible with Python 2 and Python 3. Okay, that's about that. I would like, could you, I would like to ask a few questions. Could I have a show of hands? How many people came here with a specific uh, project in mind they would like to port? Is there some, yeah? Could you, could you, could you give me the name? Uh, it's my own, actually, it's uh, the well, wiki PCMS, the uh -huh. crazy thing that works in the Fedora wiki. Okay. I want to make that speak to you. And who was yours? Uh, Koji. Koji. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, it's a two hours workshop, so start now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who? Uh, there were a few more people, I believe. Yeah. Who was yours? Oh, right. And was there another person? <coughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what? Which people would like us to give them an uh, a, a small project they could work on? Is there someone like that? Would someone like to work on a project? Try to port it to Python three. No. Okay. So mm -hmm. what? What I would have hoped uh -huh. to see is. You actually taking some project mm -hmm. and guiding so that everybody can see mm -hmm. what the changes you are doing. <laughs> right. So you mean like live coding, right? <laughs> yes, live coding for the audience. For okay, oh. we will start with Koji and the other. But it's not an hour we'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question actually. Absolutely. 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 Like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just run time two to three on it, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I actually, I've actually not played around with six mm -hmm. yet. Um, what kind of utilities does it have, and does it have um, utilities for dealing with the uh, byte versus string? Because that's my biggest pain point in supporting. Both. It's not like 
six is not a tool. It's it's a library, and it <laughs> it is supposed supposed to work like uh, when you use a lot of if dev code, like if uh, this is version blah blah blah, then this, uh, and it's uh, so six covers those use cases. For example, uh, imports for libraries, which will changed in Python three. So instead of you writing try import blah 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 except import blah blah blah, you only write from six import this. It's not like any magic there. Okay. It's like like real compatibility. Lo uh. So then let me rephrase my question. Do I get help managing the byte array versus string this problem? Sure. Yeah. Because this, this it, it's the two parts. I, I write mostly net, network stuff, so it's lots <laughs> yeah. of this and it's paper. Uh, two things in this six could help you in little things like, is this a string? Yeah, That's a complicated question. If you yeah. want to have a two and three compatible, so there is something in six. I believe it's six dot string types. Yes. And you can just ask, uh, is this type in string uh, six string types? And then it gets the, the code is cleaner. But uh, the actual decoding and encoding, uh, that was done automatically in legacy Python. Right. And now in Python 3, you have to do it programmatically right. Yeah. And that's up to you to do it. And 6 cannot help you with that. Okay. And if you do it, uh, this encode and decode thing, you probably don't break Python 2 compatibility because in Python 2, you can write string dot encode dot encode dot encode dot encode and it results in string. Trust me, I've written lots of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are there like tools you have this thing, but are there any tools to help with that kind of you know the string types problem? Or is it more mostly just uh, I don't think so. Test suits? <laughs> yes. And it's <laughs> not the kind of tool yeah, it's the, the the thing here is in the Python free uh, the idea is this is not uh, possible to do automatically. I don't mean automatically, but at least something that helps I mean, the, you and aids. The biggest idea, uh, the biggest problem here is not the Python itself. Yeah. It's that application has to have notion of separation yes. between yeah. the problem domain data types, which it doesn't. It just adds, and, a, and, and having to handle that adds a lot of code that hurts readability, and I'm anti yeah. any code that hurts readability. You can, if you use, this is something that's Python free only, so probably not very useful if you want to maintain compatibility with two, but uh, you can use type annotations in your functions and then run a static uh, analyzer if something that's supposed to take bytes isn't sending actually yeah. string and stuff like that. Then I believe I that- I that that's cool, but it doesn't help with two. Is there yeah, a type annotation yeah. thing that's compatible <coughs> with like a module type of thing? Because yeah. like I, well, I know people have written sort of tiny uh, things for Python. Consider, code. for example, like kind of LDAP LDAP related stuff, stuff, stuff oh, yeah. where the same input to the same functions can be either yeah. binary or, yeah. um, or a string yeah. depending on actual attribute type in the LDAP, which is mm. not really visible on the client side, so in, in the application that you write. I'm not complaining about free, by the way. I'm actually complaining about having to maintain compatibility with two. Yeah. So. Welcome to the team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slides, maybe? Do we have more slides? Oh, yeah. This was everything. Like that was everything in slides. <laughs> okay. So now, right now is the is the process when everyone will choose his package and will port it. <laughs> yeah. And, and we can. How many of you are actually interested more in the RPM packaging? Of this in Fedora? Yeah, well, so that, that's more or less clear. The right guy can still do it. Do it. Yeah. It's a workshop. Well, yeah. it can work. What should we package then? And then uh, there is most of you actually in a porting of Python code, right? So uh, if you look at the porting DB, uh, there are red packages, those are blocked by a dependency and you probably shouldn't port a package that has unported dependency. So then there are uh, light gray packages, which are uh, packages that are not, uh, they don't have Python free support in Fedora, uh, but all of the dependencies, if any, uh, are already ported. So if you don't have any package in mind, you can just 
Don't browse this, this list and choose. It's actually much easier to port. A, I don't know. Don't choose a graphic application tool for doing something and stuff like that. Choose something little. You, you should probably choose something you know. There is a graph that takes ages to load, yeah. I guess. And yeah. Okay. Um, the last page you showed that uh, for the DB. Porting DB. There's a voice for girl, which is smart orange. Can you show what does it mean and uh, click on it and. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Is there, is there a way to search by users on the. On a like package order? Because I think I saw it as you were clicking given by one of my packages. So I would like to know which uh, of it's, my packages. It's are not this. there, but uh, if you want this, you can also work on this, like edit there. Or and the functionality with the porting DB. What do I just have time? <laughs> <laughs> so what what do you wanted to see? What is core details? It was on the top of the page. Core details. There, there is it's there orange. Orange. What does it mean? Why? Uh, oh. If it's orange, it means that it, it is in some kind of progress. Like somebody created a bug for it, somebody is working on patches or whatever. Because uh, we used to have uh, before several of uh, portings to Python 3. And there were people who started port some, some things, so they were marked, marked like in progress. Okay, now you have there. Uh, are there more information on what should be done or what needs to be done. I have some kind of... Uh, it, when you click on the package... I would like to know how to work with this uh, porting DB. Okay, yes. So so I choose the free part. When Please you click... Please choose for it. For it. <laughs> okay. The control F, that must be so. Police and Korea with us. All of the most of the information in uh, in there is uh, like gathered from from the repos, and it's very hard to gather reasons for things. Uh, there are also text files, YAML files that describe. You can put descriptions in them, saying something like uh, this and this and this person is working on it, and you can add URLs to repositories where the porting is happening to Baxillas and stuff like that. But this has to be done manually, so sometimes we don't nothing. Uh, you can see the dependencies of, uh, of these things, and this actually says that the bug is closed, but the, yes. the thing is still not marked as done, which means either there is something that should depend only on two, uh, but it depends on two and three. As you can see, policy core utils, uh, graphical user interface thing depends on three, and two, which is weird. <laughs> Why would you yeah, need that? Uh, config too, uh, which is, which is still written in a GNOME two. Yeah, there is a dependency GNOME two. And while GNOME all the stuff come from command line works on Python three already, this um, graphical graphical tools is not ported yet. Yeah, so so that's probably why it marks is in progress. Because it checks if every uh, either if every package or sub package only depends on free, then it's fine. Go ahead, move along. Or if it has Python two and Python three sub packages, where Python two sub packages depend on two and free depend on free. In such a, if there is a reason for a package to depend on both, etc., you can uh, do a pull request on GitHub on porting DB to the YAML files and mark it as done and put there in a uh, sentence describing why. Or I could probably move the um, desktop utils to some uh, sub-package which is only Python 2. That would be great. That, that would be even better. Together with other tools. Yes. So uh, one thing about porting DB, it's not real uh, time. It's uh, generated once in a while. And if you are on back on the main page, then in the top right corner, uh, there is a date and time stamp. It'd be, it'd be great if where, it's where, time where it was generated. And you could see as people were coding. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> no. I'm 35% done with code, you know. 
<laughs> there is actually maybe a feature. I'm not if it's there yet. When you can see how how many lines of Python or C code is used in a package. Mm. So when you click a package, uh, try whatever. Choose a package here. Yes. And in the down left, I guess, below the dependencies, you can see there are a <laughs> lot of lines of code, so you move along and choose another package. <laughs> <laughs> also, we can show you our graph of the history. Green packages are packages already on Python 3. The there, is the, there is the 10 line of orange, which are packages in progress. And the gray packages are packages which are ready to be ported, like all of their dependencies are already solved. And the red, red one are the packages which have still blocked all dependencies. As, as you can see, we are slowly climbing up. We also climbed it up on the total amount of yeah. packages. <laughs> but not so much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is a little blue thing. It means a packaging error. Yes. Uh, it's probably like there was a Python 3.5 rebuild in Fedora. And some packages ain't built yet because they have some problem with compatibility. So if I have <coughs> Python 3.4, yep. let's say those are basically scripts, not the well, it depends on sort of means uh, package it on the or Python two, but the code of, of the um, screen itself is in Python two. But I can I can then run modernize on it, right, to get something that works in. Yeah. Sh 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 yes, systems. should not and, always. Uh, that would be kind of the first small step. Yes, exactly. Converting the code into something that uh, at least clean and work on. That's how it works. Like we we, firstly. The first thing you want to port is test, if you have any. If you don't, that's like a really bad kind of situation. Well, but it depends on the types of tests again, because the test might require actual, uh, like in, in Samba case, yes. we have uh, auto-generated C code, which also auto-generates C Python bindings to that C code, which then is used by the uh, Python mo uh, modules written in Python, those can be converted to, uh, those can be modernized, let's say this way, but they still wouldn't work with Python 3 until the whole set of modules that are auto-generated from auto-generated C code. Uh, Sounds a little bit like Inception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, um, it's all networking stuff so the uh, network protocols are defined in uh, interface definition language idle which then parses by some compiler and produces a lot of C code it's about one million something lines of C code produced out of those definitions so you should start reporting in the generator and not on the result no it doesn't make sense generator right? is uh, one part that uh, Basically, Peter, Peter Victorian did not part of it, yes. but has not yet submitted the, uh, um, the, the generator for, for the Python modules upstream. So this part is still missing. The only the supporting libraries like LTP, TPP. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter is a member of our team. Yeah, and uh, the, the rest is not there yet. So I, I'm thinking of kind of look at this from the another side because there is also a considerable amount of the code that the actual admin runs in the Samba 2 utility, which is written in Python, which, well, if we modernize that code first, then we can set the style or put in the uh, pure Python code uh, in modules and then do the convergence from both sides, from the C modules to the Python. If you are able to test it in the middle of the process? Well, in, in using Python 2, yes, because the, uh, Samba has comprehensive test suite, which runs like, um, I think, around 5,000 separate tests on the uh, protocol level, which test 
a lot of different combinations of the code. Some of that code uses Python, actually. Now, I, I, I really don't know if this was a question or so just a yes, um, description of a situation. Just trying to maybe um, cross verify if the approach sounds sounds reasonable yeah from what i heard now i didn't see the code and stuff it sounds reasonable mm -hmm. but i cannot just say it for 100 percent sure okay yeah. uh, where were we <laughs> <laughs> so the process yes. if, if it's not so complicated uh, your some bus use case is very complicated but if you have a let's say pure python little project uh is to run modernize Yes. And run run tests for see if you didn't break Python two, and then run tests on Python three. The test on Python three will probably uh, produce some failures, with some exceptions, etc. <coughs> and then you start fixing those cases. It's a good idea to see if when you are fixing a particular thing like replacing this with that, to see if it's not a repetitive pattern in the in the code. If you shouldn't like find and replace it everywhere or whatever, and you run tests, and you run tests until all the tests are green, uh, and when all the tests are green on two and three, then you actually try to use the thing. Sometimes it's hard uh, if you don't know what the project is supposed to do, but if it's your project, you probably know that. So yeah, you're laughing, but I was porting stuff that was supposed to run in some cloud platform somewhere. It did this and that. I couldn't understand it. All the tests were green, but when you run it, it actually crashed. But all the tests were green. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then you run it and try to figure out if everything is working. So basically, you are doing some manual testing. And if that works, you're probably ready to submit it to upstream. Or if you are upstream, then uh, go ahead and merge it to master or devil branch or whatever the upstream is using. Mm -hmm. And then uh, others will probably use it as well, uh, and they will report bugs if everything is broken, which happens also sometimes. <laughs> Once this is ready, and the release is ready on uh, Python package index or whatever, uh, there comes the second part for Fedora mostly, is to introduce the Python free sub package or whatever, and make it also run and be available in Fedora and then it turns green in here and, and uh, everybody's happy. So you, you want to see some real coding thing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering how Mike's doing on code. Are you real done yet? Uh, well, I have run Python Modernize on all of the client side code. You can come here, we can we can plug in your monitor and we can work on it like everyone together. Yeah, so far I've got it to the point where it's no longer broken under Python 2. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a yes. good point. Um, so, but, that I know of. I, I have a very simple test that, you know, I can, I can uh, run the client and say hello to my local Koji server and it doesn't vomit. Uh, for the uh, Python 3, though, um, that's going to be a lot of work. Uh, uh, because mostly because of the Magic. evil things we do with uh, with PyOpen SSL in the SSL libs. Yeah. Uh, so, are you willing to come here and so we can all do this together, or you prefer to work alone? <laughs> uh, do you guys want to do that? I guess. Why not? I mean, I mean, it would be fun, right? <laughs> Uh, if, uh, we have a we have a LAN Ethernet cable yeah. we can share. Uh, can batch index? No, oh, sure. sure. no, it's not a keyboard. Maybe it. Yeah, okay. this one. Uh, uh, you will just sit there. You will sit here and. Uh, yes, I, I, will, just I, will show you. I just want to show something. I mean, can they meet? Okay. Uh, they yeah. If you are a collector of badges. For Fedora, you, you can oh, also nice. receive a badge. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have a special badge for porting Python, Python three. That is one of the best badge names I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was his, his idea. How is it awarded? Is it uh, manually awarded? Yes, yeah, so you, you you have but, to. But I, I don't have to change houses, do I? All this joking about Harry Potter is slowing you down, man. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Come, come in.
So um, I think one. most likely that this may just get really complicated and turn into port port to Python requests. Uh, oh, we can actually do that. Or if you have a C code, the good thing to do is to drop it and port to Cyton. <laughs> Yeah, drop Samba and pour it to Cyton. <laughs> so here's, here's the thing. Okay. Samba supports like 60 different operating systems and platforms. Not all of them have Python 3 at all. Some of them have be there. Oh, okay. Python 2. Like 2.4 or four. got to hide my porn first. Well, we settled down on 2.6 now. As a uh, kind of baseline. Yeah, and it still has to work because the build system for some is written in Python as well. Yeah, well, that that part already at the level that it can work with Python three. Or I'll just go ahead and port it to Go or whatever. <laughs> work on something easy. Uh, what's you know, the what's the resolution on this thing? Uh, native is uh, one thousand. 2767 or whatever is the normal. It's written on a paper in here. Okay. Uh, can... Yeah. I'll just do that. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. Um, so what I did, um, this is the the one commit. Um, it part, modernized it a couple odd things I had to fix, but uh, and this is a really a small subset of Koji. It's it's just the CLI command and the the few the handful of libraries that the CLI command actually uses. Um, so this is what it's doing. To oh, Koji. You can see here the, the six library. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what does it do? Yeah. Like yeah. six move config. So this is only basically what uh, modernized it. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I fixed a couple things. Uh, one thing it did was it put those from future imports above the hash bang. It's so. just probably something that should be easy to fix in modernized. What, what, yeah. <laughs> Somebody can do that at home. Yeah. <laughs> How far back do you need import print function? Two six. Two six. Two six. Um, so it's not. Only two seven doesn't need it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's quite a lot of print in the CLI, so that looks like a lot of this. <laughs> and would, yeah, printing. Does it put oh? Does it put list in into four cycles? Like, can you go up? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, like an explicit list because I, yeah. I suppose that turns it into. That might not be required in this case, but it might not. Yeah, it's just probably better safe you than sorry. You could do git add dash p and go through each block, and if it's just the print stuff, just add it. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, it, make, it makes like the green dot pattern you have to go into smaller. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, so lots of prints. Lots of prints. So let's see. So here's what happens if I uh, let's see. I'm, so this is if I run it through Python two, um, that works. If I run it through Python three, the warning is expected. Uh, oh, but the, uh, I don't think well, that module's ported yet, and yeah, th it's because this code is doing evil things to the yeah, to the it's using file. private objects. Yeah. So <laughs> so please kind please of don't thing. use that module anymore. It's KRB five, KRB Yeah, use JSON. I mean, could you could you bundles SSL module or whatever it is? It no. comes. <laughs> you don't. It's, you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. KRB may never come to Python three. And that's fine, I, th not, I, I think we I think we know this. So it's Python curve or the other yeah. one, yeah. Then that one, Curb, we Python, want we, no Python GSS API. G GSS API, GSS and, and that one will do proper GSS API, just yes. like a Correct. web browser does. And yes. then we are going, yeah, and we'll we'll that's a that's a I can't do that porting here. Oh, but. Just, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm a curve guy. Okay, so I, that's my day job. Okay, so, so let me get your please, please let me, don't let me get your card. <laughs> Do you know Mike Benet? Uh, he's the guy who did the packaging for Python GSS API, isn't he? Uh, no, I think he's, he's the guy that wrote Python Curve D, I think, or did no, a little. No, no, he didn't, no. may not wrote it, but I, I don't know. No, no. Like, C is most of my day job. I do. I work on KDC. Okay. For MIT, so. So, um, so, is this something we are stuck on? Mike, how about, how about, I want to try this. Let me try. There's no off. 
So that's going to. Um, we should figure out like how to replace the socket power object. All right. Uh, let me. Uh, but so it actually got some module object, so it's not known, right? Yeah. So there's something. Let's see if I can yes. do this with the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no, there's no off type equals none. I don't know if I can. That it would be none. Yeah. And not an if I just. So now we're going to try without SSL, right? Or Try commenting these things out. See if that gets it to. Uh, it's still, it's still, it's still runs I don't know. Okay, here. Um, right. just, let me just hack this really badly here. Um, uh, yes. I would be like frozen in my seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, right. Last program and simultaneously get judged by 30 people. <laughs> All so right. what, what you get is because you import SSL common unconditionally uh, way above this. Yeah, yeah. It's just a dot import. Oh, is that the import? Yes. yes. Okay. But, oh, okay. It fails. So yeah. It fails at the import? Okay. Well, then we can. I guess the second. Uh, well, no. Well, that's that's actually how we get the actual SSL module. Uh, that that's because we have in Python two with the import. It, anyway. <laughs> I had to do that so I could import the SSL module because we had a module named SSL. Because yeah, there we is SSL module in Python. So, <laughs> right. so it will be imported without the dot. Right. Oh, that's fixable. Maybe yeah, you just install it. You run a lib two, and then it's something. Uh, you can use a uh, alternate cable here. <coughs> to wait ten minutes. Python three. Python three. Yeah. Oh, right, of course. Python three. You are like two version five. What? No package. I don't think this is an actual Python three thing. What the hell? Uh. Right, did, did, did they change? Yeah, it, they, they merged the API in the like URL lib1. Doesn't right. 6 have things like this? Yeah, isn't, there a, isn't there a URL lib3 yeah, now? Yeah, but that's totally different thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, press easy. I think the 6 uh, module is the URL lib and the URL lib2 under. It kind of still didn't yeah. move together. Okay, just didn't fix that. So, uh, so how, anybody know offhand how I. I don't. There's a whole list of them. 6 has a page where they list out yeah. all their modules. Uh, it's 6 dot moves. I guess. Yeah, it's one of those. I'm pretty sure it has your own stuff in it because I can use it. Six. <coughs> That's online yeah. documentation. Yeah. Somewhere. Our table goes about this list. That was a different table. Oh. So what actually uh, you are using from your uh, two? Uh, good question. Can we have yeah, a look? Yeah, uh, that because they're all different. This is in it. Here yeah, we do. Uh, URL open? Use URL open. Use URL and now go back to the page and uh, Control F uh, URL open. In the docs. Yeah, yeah, that so click that one. So you want yeah. URL lib request. You want from six dot moves dot URL lib dot request import URL. Open, I think. Stop. And then, or you know, however, if you don't want it, to, if you want it to be namesake. All right. So from six 
dot moves dot url lib import. No, I mean six dot moves dot url is dot request. Dot. Import url open, and then you change the call yeah. to url open. That should be. <coughs> and you're probably going to hit url parser with it. Yep. <laughs> Not dicks, definitely not importing dicks. <laughs> There's a high tariff on those. <laughs> URL We just Googled the uh, URL lip sucks. Uh, yeah, I made like a mistake I wanted to. What the hell was it? Right. Some hackish website, I have no idea. URL parse. Oh, do I just, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, that one is not ported, no, so. Uh, so we are done. All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Just check what, what is used from your driver. Uh, I think you can replace it with PyCurl or whatever. How about I just comment it out and we go to the next one? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, it's in somewhere else. It's in C2. Uh, yeah, it's in CLI. Okay, well, that won't matter. Um, <laughs> we, just, we don't need C. We don't need that. Dead <laughs> 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 one is not ported to. <laughs> yeah. DNF, maybe? Uh, so you need to don't need that. Right. <laughs> don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if your code is not compatible with your code, it's free. Okay. Just <laughs> okay, back yeah, yeah, URL yeah. split. I guess it's going to be the same. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't URL work on so free. It's probably not worth running anyway. Yeah, there is a project so, on GitHub that uh, interprets Python, and every time there is an exception or something, it deletes that line where it, because it's a bad code, right? <laughs> so you can maybe run this. Uh, all, uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> have delete no all. Code, you have nothing left. It, 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 it will split the it, address it, on the port. It, so we'll yeah, it, it, it splits the port yeah. off of. And well, at at, at one point the in the ancient, that line is probably pushing on 11 years old right now. Yeah. <laughs> it has URL parse and URL split, so I would imagine one of them is going to Yeah, work. let's see what we're doing here. I uh, think it's the URL in, parse, uh, I guess. It's not a URL because. <laughs> Actually, it's not that old. Uh, so I just, I just want, I just want to split the host, so I, I, I can do something else. So. <coughs> Isn't it also in the moves thing, or it's just not there anymore? What will, what will URL dot split give me? I think it will split like on the. URL the split, and it says it gives you, it gives you scheme network path query. So court is the last one, so I don't know why it has no index. Is this like return, we return a, an object with so these actions? So it returns a by tuple without the path, so then, but then you can use a convenient path. Oh, but it's a, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's a subclass of tuple, yeah. I've, I've, that, I've seen yeah, lib, some libs do that. Um, so, so you'd have to do dot court. And I think the only reason I didn't do that here was because it, at some point I cared about a version of Python where this didn't have the varied thing. a lot, and I wanted to use the what seemed to be the safest version, oh, but no. That's why it has the convenience. Yeah. It's, it's not changed the tuple. Okay. Because uh, people are unpacking the tuple here, that would probably be why. So you have uh, to use the attributes. So I've got equals. So is it? Uh, so I mean, you'd have to get the return. So hostname import, all right.
Oh, we didn't. Well, we got to do the six dot moves for the U for the URL split. All right. Uh, so URL split is uh, from six dot moves dot URL with dot parse and dot. I, 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 I think you used it's. Um, hold on. URL split. I don't think did you use. I, I just URL copied. Split? Well, look at the function call, not oh. the import. Oh, that's that's. Uh, oh, that's not something. Oh, and it was called only dot split. You called before, right? Oh, I. You yeah. So I want URL split. Yeah. Yes. Except I already had that. So maybe I just. I already did. Wait, what did we do? Here, here was the port split or split port <laughs> line. <coughs> okay. Where's your cursor? So I got. So I got scheme, right. and. Oh, oh, right, because I don't, it didn't used to split the port off, I think. It was, anyway, okay, well, so I've already got that, so I've got the URL. Can I ask a question yes? before we go too far? Sure. Um, given Jody's sort of unique position within the Fedora community, sure. <clears throat> is there really any point to maintaining Python 2 compatibility? Yes, Cause people because need to people, Apple. lots of people before, besides Fedora use Koji. And I personally use it on some RHEL 5 systems <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> now I'm hoping to get rid of that, and I'm probably going to have to have to because I think when I do Python this, that's, even, that's not going to work on RHEL 5, even. Just, just as a general point, outside of the Koji case, that might be a question that's you know, you just good to ask yourself. before you begin this porting, right? Yeah. Because yeah. It, it's something that, you know, like let's say it's an end application that's something very specific yeah. you're right. going to run and nobody yeah. else. Right. I, right. It's not worth the effort to try right. to do both because there is effort in doing yeah. both. But I've had numerous conversations about Koji and Python 3 for a while now. People have been asking for a while. You guys have been working on this stuff for a while now. And um, so there's a bunch of arguments for the different approaches. And I, the one thing that really resonates with me uh, which which makes me wish I could just port to Python three and be done with it is that when you do this works here and works there thing you're sort of you're getting lowest common denominator you're saying I'm going to have this yeah. run on Py Python three but I'm not going to get to use all the awesome things that Python yeah, three can exactly. give me that's, yeah. that's, that's the pain in the ass Python three talk when you can, when you're compatible with two and three you're using a language which is a subset of both and yeah. Yeah. worse than both of them. yes. So, and, and I mean, I've been feeling that for a while because I've carried about multiple versions of Python 2x for a while, and it, that also sucks, not nearly as bad as this. Uh, so I'd love to just ditch it, but I can't, you know, yeah, I no, wish I'm I could not, quit you, REL5, but I can't. Um, I'm not saying it, it, it is. It's really the choice on that. your, on your yeah. 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 user base. Yeah. Yeah. How big is the Koji code base? Uh, Would it be like... Ideal to, to support two versions of Koji. One would be like only bug fixes so for Python 2. What's probably going to happen is um, uh, probably going to split the code base up into some smaller <laughs> chunks and have a, uh, a, a really simple, probably end up with some really simple client only library version of Koji that is. It's for Python two, yeah, and that will work on you know all the rails. So if you can, you can talk to Koji there. But the, the, then there's also the fun part is I, I probably want to do more than just talk to Koji on RHEL 5. I probably want to still maintain the ability to run a builder on RHEL 5 yeah. because at some point in my life, something is going to need to build. I'm going to, it's not going to build with a new kernel. I'm going to need a freaking thing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So welcome yeah, to my sorry. life. I just to ask <laughs> well, no, I think it's maybe a good discussion. These are the sort of things that come up outside of the code. Um, but I'll stop now. <laughs> One thing about the code, you know, you've been changing stuff, and it's a good idea to sometimes check again for if you didn't break two. Yeah, well, since we are changing this, you showed us it works on two at the beginning. Oh yeah. And right. now if we do it in two, you see. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We just broke it. Yeah, you removed the line where you assigned a port from the split port function. There, there were, you see the port, the so... The explicit yeah. port. Uh, Here, yeah. where, where you split the port on two hosts and port. 
Oh, okay, yes, thank you. Oh, right, I thought that was also self. All oh, right, never mind. All right, fix that. So. No, no, no. Did, did I assign them both before, or just that one? You don't, don't use it later. No, it's just use it a later. single yeah. line below yeah. this one, which is no. No? no. Go keep, the self, keep the self, and no, just on the next, the next line, line change, to, change to self, yes. Yeah, and the argument Ooh, of self the blue port. Look ahead. Here. Yeah. There should be self port. Oh, OK. Oh, that's just really. That's just the typo I made a few minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, sorry, so we're yeah. There are more ports. I don't think you should put it in the cell. Maybe it wasn't that before. Yeah. Uh, ah, I said it. There we go. It's it, that self. The self one isn't set till later, right. and yeah. it's complicated because there's a, <coughs> there's an override or something like that. All right. Oh, 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 it's doing stuff. Uh, We've done it for too long. <laughs> yeah. And it's hanging. <laughs> oh, I know why. Because uh, yeah. Well, let's try. But let's just do, let's see if we get through. Create a reference. Oh yes, that was removed in Python 2. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hmm? in what is Python 2? Create unverified context. No, we, di we disable the inverts from the SSL. That's where it can be. Yeah, did we? No. We did. Have no, we didn't. No. No. There's there's a few SSL yeah. module. Yeah. It just doesn't have. There is a few SSL module. What version of Python 3 you have? Uh, Fedora 22, whatever. It is. So pre core. Because most probably the thing is that uh, the unverified context is in Python 3.5. Uh, I have no idea. I have to <laughs> check on this. Speaking of other meta topics, one thing we've talked about for the RHEL 5 case is uh, is using SCLs on older RHELs to get Python 3, um, or just backboarding Python 3 to in, in any other way to. Uh, to, to rel, any rel targets we care about, so that you can again do the, the less painful nice way. But do we have a CL for five? I don't. I, you, know, you know, I did. <laughs> what again? On rel five? No, do we have five. Probably we, not for five. Do we but have we probably CL have it for six. For no, no uh, there's only for real six. Or real six. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if it exists on, uh, if somebody's it, done the work to do it on. It doesn't exist on six. If it's on six, then there's a chance you could, you know, do a little work and make that build on five. I'm not, I'm not sure if it actually has 3.5 there. Yeah. But that's that's a question about updates for the SEO. 3.5? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> um, I don't want to... Well, it's easy to check. Go to softwarecollections.org and yeah. see if it's there or not. What should oh, we do about this? Oh, this spicy cell. Oh, this is not the system library. Mm. Oh. Yes, I, mean, I, I, I renamed it because we had a name comp, I had name conflict. So it, that's just Python's SSL. It's like if you <coughs> normally import SSL, that's what you get. Um, Py SSL is the system library. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Python's SSL library. That's what it's supposed to be. So I, I do an import SSL in my SSL <laughs> library that masks because that when one. When I check the SSL library of Python three, there is create unverified context. Okay, so. Uh, Syntax errors when you just start Python 3. There's some I have Python a I have a Python RC that that oh. does some nice things that are uh, I think I think it tries to import a it ports the the read line nice read line module that gives you all sorts of nice tab completion in, in Python 2. Um, it's handy, but it breaks in Python 3. Um, except I'm going to tab completion now anyway. So um, and uh, it doesn't. Uh, Create. Create. There, is, there is no unverified. Yeah. 
Can I just so? Uh, and you can see it here. Yes, I can see it on Python 3.4. Maybe your Python installation is. What's the exact version of Python 3.4? 3.4.2 was in RPM. Built in December, but change log is from July. I don't have it. What is the uh, unverified content? Yeah. Does it create? Right? Maybe it's <clears throat> maybe it's hidden in the I don't file. think so. I I, yeah. I think it was added in three point four point <coughs> three then. Uh yeah. So there's another way to do that, though. Uh, I, I could do default context. Uh, I, I will tell you. I will check what does unverified context call. It would be. Oh, in fact, I have. Hell, I just have that comment in line. Let's try this one. I did. I, I did. I, I, I hit the wrong direction key. <laughs> All right. All right. This is a high quality Of course, yeah. The fact that we hit that means we're getting an exception because it's in an exception handle. Okay. Now we get into the strings. The strings. Ah, <laughs> and the fun begins. Now, are you going to nest in exceptions? At this point, you open the bubble of some movies. <laughs> Okay, so what do you do? You write data. Could you? Uh, you yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm writing to the. I'm writing the socket to do stuff. Um. Yeah. What is string? The data is a string, or? Uh, it's, it's yeah, let's try. Uh, let's see if that helps. Uh, hey, we got some something. During, we have two exceptions inside of each other. Right. So this we're a doing a yeah. We're we're this is sending the se this is sending the post request. Uh, then we send. So we, we did we got the post part. I think you this have to bytes. decode the data to bytes. Yeah, yeah I guess they call bytes. So I guess data is a string. And you have and to. And you want to send binary or not binary but bytes. Bytes. Byte. So you have to decode data. All right. I think it's decoding, right? Encode, echo. Encode. All right. So. Oh, I never know which one is which. Yeah. I always try, like, does it have an encode? Does it have a decode? It's send all somewhere. Yeah, there was send. Yeah. Send code. Ah, uh, this is not this one. It was another. It's a, uh, uh, let's see, where is it in, uh, yeah, it's but it's in uh, uh, send one call. Yes. But that's probably, the stuff is probably defined elsewhere. 1817. Yeah, but the you you want to you want to encode data as as late as possible, okay. so just okay, encode so it before the sending. So what do I uh, just uh, handler goes into the and this is not that one. Zero. It was uh, line one thousand eighty seventy. Yeah, it's eighteen seventy. Eighteen seventy. Oh, right. Shit, I haven't done the test file yet. Uh, this okay. is the last one. This is the last one. Try to load that. All right, so I send just, request. So should I just encode it? Yeah, and use UTF-8. Yeah, for now, and for later, keep it there. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it does look the same, dash. but dash? It works with both, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's try. I don't know, if there's something else is going wrong, this should not be taking that long. And, well, it didn't bomb it yet. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Get commit. 
Nej, vil du sige det? Get the moment. Get the Uh, yeah, yeah, what? That was. What's next? <laughs> Let's see. Let's try see to remove all the things he all right. commented out and enable SSL. We don't need authentication. Come on, guys. Let's see if Python 2 still works. It's a good thing yeah. that recording with Python 3 has no cell issues whatsoever. <laughs> all right. Okay, I think that means. What is your. Fast username. I'm giving you F- the badge. Mike M. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's try to make work another comment from Koji. <laughs> make what? A- another comment from, from the Koji client. Or is it the only comment? I never used the Koji client, so I have no idea. Okay. Uh, like oh, okay. What, 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 what do you want me to do? Like, uh, the comment you typed uh, to, to send this. Yeah. I didn't check. There are any other comments? You oh, well, there's lots. Um, so, yeah, that, that's just the s- simplest one that just okay. says open the connection to the server, send send, some, send some a message, <laughs> and see what happens. Um, and yeah, if I take so, no so let's off, let's try to to switch on the auto notification. <laughs> well, that we we basically disabled that, so it's going uh-huh. to <laughs> fail. <laughs> um, so we'll do no auth. Um, list tags. Get some actual data back. And Can so I the batch to for what? I'll probably take off the XMRPC debugging. To a package in MW in Fedora and packaging Python 3 support. And, and do, do, that's do, do, so could you, could absurdly you, slow, and I really. That's. Oh, I'm. 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 It's all on. Like tied with me now. No, no, it's uh the um. The, I'm not using the network. I mean, it's it's all local to my laptop. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, or or am I? Yeah, because you get the. Oh, I know why. Uh, yeah, that's why it's slow because I'm using I'm not using my local one. There we go. <laughs> it would help immensely if I talk to the one that's running on my laptop instead of the one that's running in yeah. Phoenix. <laughs> 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 all right, back that to was, fast. That was Python two. Right? Yes. And uh, it was testing it with its local Koji instance. Ah, uh, yeah, that should be easy. All right. Let's use keyword argument for key function. Some of them is no longer a thing. Yeah, it's on Koji. And it, it, it's it's uh it's a, that's a sim link. It it it's weird. I it, it oh. it's a weird artifact of uh, one of the ways that you can use different Koji oh. <laughs> client <laughs> profiles. It goes by the uh, Dollar zero, so uh, thirty-eight fifteen. So what are you saying? Get rid of the lambda? Yeah, uh, I, um, oh. no, I think no, the, the, key, oh. the CMP was removed. Yes. So tag sort key. Can you pass like a list of keys to? Um, and Did you say that the, the sort method was removed? Uh, no. There is, a, there is a parameter in sort of function, right? There's something happened. CMP is gone or... CMP is gone, yeah. yeah. Okay, CMP So is. basically you are now giving a, a sort CMP function, but you should uh, give it something else. You should, you should, you should do it like, um, it should be sort key equals... Key equals yeah. name? Key equals name? It was key. Yeah. So it should be key. Yep. Let's try. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's like not gonna work. Yeah, it, it has. To, so it has to yeah. be like a lambda uh, that returns a, a lambda a returns a name. Key. Yeah, a name. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> you have a typo. Lambda. Oh, oh lambda. Lambda. <laughs> Lambada. <laughs> Lambada. <Yeah. laughs> this should work. Yeah? <laughs> you don't sound convinced. Uh, yeah. All right. Wow. You 
see how Check much you see how much happiness for <laughs> making the Python free. <laughs> All right. Uh, Python two. Python three seven works with two. This ought to be fun. Three? What? Was this three or two? Python. Python version. That was, uh, version that was three. Yeah. Three. Three. yeah. <coughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of, that's one of the more complicated um, client codes too. So that's. Wow. Nice job. Uh, yeah. um, Nearly done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you gave me the badge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm now no longer motivated to do any porting. <laughs> we will create another badge. <laughs> the, do they have levels? Do you, do you get like no. No, one? It's, it's, basically, it's basically a word, so I was like, how do we do levels? Do I keep a, a table with numbers of packages somewhere? And then, anyway, so we, I, I was thinking about to make a ported Koji to Python 3. <laughs> And all of us should Uh, let's see. Um, well, at least you don't have a lot of commands to test. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are no, 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 no. There's no, no. no test suite for the client, could you? Oh, yeah. The, okay. yeah, yeah, the test suite is <laughs> in his hat. There, 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 are, there are a number of ad hoc tests that, 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 that we have, but we don't have. Well, that's, that, that's a thing, I know. It's bad, but um, but oh, I'm very sure. careful. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Mike, I have some code that uses the Koji client. You could try that. <laughs> At least you're not using it to build a mission critical OS. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's lots. Um, so but the let's build some images. <laughs> well, that's going to fail because we haven't touched the builder that also runs on here. But I, then I. Okay. Uh, but then that, I haven't installed it yet, so we'll get the Python 2 builder, so it'll be okay. <laughs> Could it work like the client is written in Python 3 and the server is written in Python 2? Or yeah. That's what we are doing right now, isn't it? Uh, Just sure. we, were, we were talking to remote coaching, which was in Python 2. Yeah, this, this, this would be a good thing. Uh, um, Fake RPM? It, 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 it does nothing. It's, it's a test case. Um, Right, can't build without auth. Yeah. I, I mean, we. <laughs> you need the authentication yeah. for the building. All right. Um, and but. So, so, what is this SSL? Do you have some liar for SSL library? Or. I think you could, like, know, let's, replace let's... it with SSL backward or whatever. Why backward? We are talking Python 3 and. We are backporting okay. things forward. Let's see. I mean, watch. there's a package uh, it's called yeah, SSL backward. Yeah, and but it contains like. Well, had we fired off that build, we would have been able to watch, watch it after yeah. after it started. So. Cool. Um. Oh, just KDF. Uh, yeah, and the next thing we should do is make. The Python three thing and introduce KDF two. <laughs> <laughs> because we're do we've done that with Python. <laughs> yeah, exactly because that. <laughs> and, and KDF just a little local hacky thing I have makes it easier. It just it just does Python path equals my checkout and runs from there. And it works. Um, all right. Well, I think my brain is about done. I'm gonna. One hour. So let's go with Some, who's next? Any, any other volunteer? <laughs> Please don't bring Samba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Free IPA. Go. Free IPA. IPA is almost done. Yeah, yeah. it's almost done. Oh really? Yeah. But that means only the hard problems are left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it means that it's damn long tail.
So do we have some package we need to fork? Okay, to let's on? let's choose someone to fork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would go with Huawei <laughs> camera. <laughs> I yeah, come here. Come here, over here. Sure you can port live. <laughs> yeah, you are looking like you are coming. If you don't come up, you are. No, you really don't want me there. I might have to go. So you, you can port some code to go. To go. If, it, if it's easier than porting no, it's quite easy. I suck at checking it. Do we have any tool that like modernized ports to go? I think, I guess, yes. Because there are tools that generate Python code. There are tools that generate Parallel code for from Python code, so why I'm would you ever want to do that? I have no idea, but I've seen that. Okay, so nobody wants to port something, so let's just go and port something. Uh, but we need to establish what what do we port? Yeah, let's choose something. Barman. That sounds like fun. That sounds like beer, and I. Yeah, exactly. Oh. What is it? How many lines are there? See Barma, uh, how many lines? So, yeah, we should stick to only porting things that are related to alcohol in some way. <laughs> <laughs> like Koji? Like Koji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that Koji is the mold that they used to brew uh, uh, sake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see, this was already 47 times. Nice. Okay, so porting DB. Let's just assume it will not suggest any other sites. Uh, I, I was fast. Well, you have a cable, so you're really fast. <laughs> okay, so what do we port? We can look. Maybe take a look at the graph. Possibly. How about yum? <laughs> yum. <laughs> that should take an hour, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we ported Koji in yeah. like 40 minutes. <laughs> <so>. Exactly. <laughs> the, uh, we should definitely add some functionality like give me an easy package. Or and some, some, some random function, function which would like output you some package. It's here. It's here. It's, oh, here. it's, it's right on is the there, top. Oh. How about Sphinx Web Tools? It no. Should, it should still have a random package and then revoke and commit rights to all your other packages. <laughs> <laughs> you for it. That would be really evil. <laughs> but I don't know how to make it change. Why? But it's you can just hit update until it, you. Update. I mean, it's generated, right? So. Oh, so it's, everybody sees the same package. Yeah. Nah, it, it sh no, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't so. be. So. Sh shift it back. Let's see, scribbles. Yeah, I see Sphinx web tools. That's it's weird. It, it used to be different. It used to be JavaScript. Yeah. Units, webs. Oh, V8. V8. Uh, or let, let's port the Doge. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> good idea. That's very useful for other packages. <laughs> well, we could start with Westlaw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is, so is it has. View, is there a view on here that would show you the most block package? Or the package that blo blocks yeah, the most other. Yeah, take packages? a look at the graph. It's just porting oh, DB well, slash. Oh, oh, god damn it. Well, just. Then you see this Wait. level, like, hikes of packages are oh, twisted. Okay. Or let's let's port dog. Okay. It has yeah. 20, uh, 279 lines. We can basically rewrite it. <coughs> God damn it. It's our slash. <laughs> Grab the hook. Uh -huh. It doesn't work. Where what? is the graph? Pish, you know, who's this chain? Who's that over there? Graph. Yeah. So this is designed so that we can figure out which package blocks the most other things. So the darkest one is yes. the yeah. most critical. Exactly. So this is boost. Boost. <laughs> <laughs> and this is part <laughs> on matplotlib, <laughs> which is ported. Yep. They also feel a bit the most difficult. Koji. Koji. Oh. 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 <laughs> Python Fedora. Python Twister. Which is done as well? Uh, mostly. 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 Track. Uh, all the high found track are plugins for track. So yeah. it only blocks itself. <laughs> and what is here? And nobody wants to use the Triton D, no idea what that is. It's like maybe it's new system D. <laughs> <laughs> and Vex Python. And okay. Boost, we already seen. Sugar, that's uh, one laptop per child thingy. Yeah. We can skip that as well, I guess. Gnome Python 2, 
to the shit out of this. Pie game. I don't think so. Pie game would be good, though. Yeah, it was. It would. And what is this? Mercurial. That's <laughs> why Python is moving to Git. <laughs> because because Git doesn't <laughs> run <in> Python 3. <laughs> <laughs> because Git is not written in Python. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's Ruby, right? No, it's uh, GitHub. Git is in C. C and and some Perl, I guess. Yeah. GitHub and so Mercurial is in Python and it's Python 2 only. And they were like, ah, oh, we don't like porting stuff to Python 3 <laughs> because we introduced it, and <laughs> so let's just use Git. Okay, uh, I guess what's, Doug, what's we, in Python? We Fedora. Just make Python 3. Yeah, you have to fix all the stuff. <laughs> so Python Fedora. Yeah. Isn't the uh, the notify one should be pretty small? I, I think Doge would be easy to port. <laughs> Let's just start with that. And what does Fedora what does it do? Python contains? Fedora Python <coughs> uh, contains a lot of tools for infra, I guess. Isn't the other problem with Fedora Python the problem? It has to be compatible way back. It has to be compatible for Apple Five, I think they told me. Well, That's why it's called Fedora. Yeah. Because it has but to be compatible with Apple. They from the Apple machines to do stuff with Fedora. Someone told me because I was thinking I would move some stuff into Python. Oh, it's compatible with Python 2.3, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's, let's 2.4. Two we are porting... 2.4 is on the Rails Okay, 2.4 then. And I was like, no, no, it's not. We were looking at PyLDAP uh, or Python LDAP, and it has a frequently asked questions on its website. And one of the questions is, is this compatible with Python 1? <laughs> what the <laughs> and fuck? And then you read this question and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> No way. There are lots of dirty things. So we have Python yeah. Fedora, we have and Python Fedora Django, Python I mean, Fedora Flask, I mean, Turbo Gears, and yeah. Turbo Gears, uh, Turbo uh, Gears 3, yeah, in Python 3 Python Fedora. Model, right? huh. So we have Python 3 Fedora, <coughs> but it is a red because we don't have Python 3 Fedora Django, Python 3 Fedora Flask, and Python 3 Fedora whatsoever. It's maybe possible that the package maintainer just created Python 3 Fedora sub-package and yeah. forgot all the others. Yeah, I, I so the Same. good way would be to see Fedora in Fedora Packaging Database, see if it's Toshio or somebody else. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ralph, Ralph is here. Go get him. Both <laughs> <laughs> of them are Python and not Python 3. I don't know what... Flask Django works. So Python, Fedora <coughs> Python modules, a collection of Python code that allows program to talk to Fedora services. Let's go with Doge. Let's go with Doge. <laughs> so what I will do, I will locate Doge in the database and I will check if it doesn't depend on any package. It's not the red, so it's fine. We're just gonna, uh, we can port it directly. Uh, there is no upstream link here, so I go to Fedora Packaging Database, I go to upstream. I will check if there is any issue about Python 3. That's a good idea. To there are no issues whatsoever. There are no issues whatsoever. <laughs> <It's like Nine laughs> issue. Let's see if there is like closed one fix issue. We don't like Python 3. So code, what what does it say? Set up I. It says Python oh, 3 in three. here, so it might be only a packaging thing. So let's just get Doge cloned and How do I run it? Set up by. I think there will be being file a single file in, in the Doge folder. Is there anything else? Oh. In it, in it. Wow, wow, file. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. How do I run it directly? Wow. <coughs> okay, so. Instantly, yeah, that's a user. <coughs> so I will just uh, run Python free. Set up by install 
user. Yeah. And now I should have the command. Oh, it works. So we successfully ported Dogger by running <laughs> it. So uh, I know most of you said you're not so into the packaging stuff, but while we are there, we can uh, definitely just go to Charm Fedora SCM Fed Package Clone. Alone. Thank you. Alone. alone. I feel so alone. Forever alone. Forever cloning. Okay. Forever a clone. Go there, see what's there. Not not, not much. And so what <coughs> do we have in here? Such shit hangs wow. So let's let's just put number three in here, number three in here. And <laughs> such a right. Yeah, put put a put a comment about we need it. Need to write a natural language processor that searches through all of the spec files to find jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this do? It removes. What? It okay. just removes Shebang. So yeah. we don't need to fix that. And we uh, just no. You should use the new macros. Pi install. Pi build. Do you know him, know them directly? Do you remember yeah. them? Pi yeah. under slash install. Pi pi build and pi pi underscore build pi underscore install. Pi three, right? Yeah, yeah pi three. Yeah, sure. Because, because you need doge in Apple. You need doge in Apple, right? <laughs> All right. So it's here. <coughs> and where is the macro in example spec file down yeah. here? Yep. Auto set up pi pi free install yep. yeah and pi free build. build yeah okay thank you so this is do I need to pass it build no. root or it just no, no. does it for me Fine. cool pi free build right mm -hmm. so we we need this and we Five give three. we need this and pi cache right. so or does it release it, that also? should include that I think like this. Is there like pi pi three files or something macro? Oh. Okay, and that's about it, I guess. Let's just try it. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Uh, no pie no pie cache, so just don't use it. <laughs> but this will also include pie cache, probably so. It builds. Uh, let's see the guideline. What does it do about PyCache? It does nothing about PyCache, so we are doing it right. And now, as a, as a proven package, I'll <laughs> just push this. <laughs> okay, so now what I should probably do is uh, file a bug. Yeah. Does it use a license macro? What macro? License macro. I, yeah, it Same doesn't do. Leo, let, let's fix all the specs with yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 you are right. So we only have license is a license and readme as a doc. Right? <coughs> oh, that's Ian's package. Just push it and make complaints. <laughs> Tell me it's going to be. Also, you should have a chain log entry. Yep. Yeah, done. Right. Yeah. You were just a little slower than me. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> you know, much, Some. so, something better than much Python free. <laughs> Such modern. Such modern. Such modern shepherd. Do, do a couple of these entries. Like, <laughs> I think we should leave the building. <laughs> yeah, right. Too much Python 3. We are on fire! <laughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> and. Uh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. And. Uh, you sure? Should I push it? You change it's your teammate or what? What do you say? Yeah, he was, um, I was just joking. He's, he was actually my uh, sponsor. And is he it here? Sure. Beautiful initial package build. Wow. <laughs> Such <laughs> Python macros. Let's be consistent. Yeah. And wow. It's I'm so putting it in one line. Now I don't know. He's using one line. So we're so many developments. Such new version, many lost traceback. 
Okay, such modern, very Python free, uh, much wow, very licensed. And now what I have you also changed the release like in the office? yeah I do this with a keystroke oh, okay together with the change lock sorry wow wow such, such wow <laughs> such ninja <laughs> such ninja okay what what what's the description dog is simple and it runs on Python free okay cool cool now the other thing is uh, we run uh, dog from Git and I'm not sure if this two two o version supports Python free. It would be a good idea <coughs> to check. Is this some if if we are not running oh. free six oh or something are like that? Are you not planning on uh, having a Python two package as well? No, no this is an application. Yes. Okay. And no reason to run right. both of them, so you just choose the better button. Unless there is like a library package that someone would want to import. So there's, there's, there's like the DNS. Uh, yeah. Because DNS is an application but it also contains the libraries. So DNF is so is running on Python three, but it provides also Python two DNF because people are using it as a library. So basically, guys are assuming that no one wants to go. So I have to update it also. Yeah, I don't know if I have to, but I will. <coughs> Why do you use zero? Zero. To switch, I know. Yeah, because I'm bumping it. And. Much new version. Uh, well, many developments is the correct line. Yeah, yeah, it's well many developments. Okay, sorry about that. My mistake. You have to be consistent. <laughs> well, many developments. Uh, okay, now let's just. Uh, oh, uh, spec to get the source. Uh, it's not found because oh, maybe because we did not yeah. upload the new one. Yeah. We are not yeah. uploading. I'm no, getting no, it. No. He's just yeah. not exporting them there. I guess. Yeah, new sources. Three five zero on on here. Okay, never mind. Just give it a five and five. update it in the in the spec and check on GitHub if this version also supports it. And then file maybe upstream back about this. Three five oh five. <laughs> what did I just did? I googled Whoops. for five. <laughs> Not what I went. Did it find Python five? Oh, it doesn't exist. Be consistent. Tax. Three five. Oh. It doesn't even have the tag. <laughs> okay, let's free free o and see if it's yeah, yeah it's already there. I guess they didn't introduce the support <laughs> and then drop it and introduce it back. You never know with Doge. <laughs> you never know. Such cool. And yeah, we got a source. We built <coughs> it. And now we should see if it works, right? <coughs> yeah. So I should Install pip it. uninstall pip free. Uninstall do, do I need to use user? No such option user. Yes. And now I'm gonna type my root password in the right place. Nobody sees it. Okay. And I'm gonna DNF install nor three five. Yes. Have some memory corruption, none of your uh, messages are readable. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Python 3 Unicode. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's crypto. It's <laughs> called lip check, and the <laughs> 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 lip checks can understand. That's but this is a very long transaction. It's a terrible font. <laughs> you don't like my font. <laughs> it shifts pixels and often puts the. Uh, Excellent. What, 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 what. Done. And let's run it. Wow. Such big screen. Many git. Very demon. Beautiful <laughs> uptime. <laughs> What's your uptime? Nice. <laughs>
<laughs> so much terminal. All the mount ones. We can patch it so it says so much Python free, but never mind. Uh, okay, so I have this uh, nice diff we cannot read. Here. So what we changed in the spec version, uh, we changed to Python 2 devil and Python setup tools to Python 3 devil and Python 3 setup tools. We changed it to Pi3 build and Pi3 install macros, and we changed the install thing, and we added new change log lines. We might want to merge those because we never did anything in between, like this. And you missed the variable from. Yeah. Sorry. Like that. And I would like to have a comment that opens the bug <coughs> at attachment and do this for me, but I don't have such command. <laughs> I'm gonna do it manually then. Good if or y dot patch and bugzilla and bug. That's a slow thing. Okay, anything more we should port? We have 20 minutes, so now we can port yum. <laughs> okay. I think it would make a lot of people happy if there was yum again. Fortunately, all those people are wrong. <laughs> if I say dog should run on Python 3, is that offensive to the maintainer? No. Please, no. No, it's cool. You can Ray, I can do wow things. Yeah. Yes. Uh, don't, so get, don't get very, very much Python free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and description <laughs> of the problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Don't get attention. <laughs> so legacy. <laughs> much not wow. <laughs> Python free. Sad. Two. Uh, version release of the component, whatever. That's not important. How reproducible? Uh, step uh, actual much, result. Just delete everything. Much reproducible. <laughs> much. Re <laughs> 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 oh, that's too good. <laughs> Something like this. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute yeah. For not being a workshop, this has been the best workshop ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much patch uh, attached. Right? Yep. Like the, don't forget don't the patch. Yeah, I know. Uh, we, should, we, should, we should add a photo of